Hey, hey guys. Today, I just want to talk about we made already a Mythic Plus DPS tier list. Today, I want to combine Tank and Heal or Mythic Plus in Dragonflight. Um, for sure, we only talk about the first season. We will see how it's later on continuing. There's not a lot of data, it's only the beta, and yeah, for sure, maybe you played some dungeons during the last few days, like M M M M Zero, and then you know how, how how good maybe some classes already are. But uh, for sure, it's not. It's a little bit more predictions, but you know the predictions. A lot of people played beta and stuff like this, so the numbers are there. You cannot say like, hey, no, that's not true. So yeah, for sure, can be small changes happening. But at the end of the day, uh, what is S tier at the moment will be definitely not dropping down to a C tier. And also the opposite, like always, you know. We start with uh, tanks. Tanks for Mythic Plus to make here the tier list. And yeah, we have to start with... Uh, I want to start with the least good classes. And tanks are pretty... Uh, pretty uh, together so there's not a lot of difference between them but there is a difference and the most tier list that I saw only had an S tier and an A tier I want to make it a little bit more controversial I want to I will put Monk into the B tier to be honest it, it just needs the most heal of all of tanks at the moment it seems like and it's not like this is bringing on the table that it, it does the most damage it's a good tank it's a decent tank you can fill your vault every every week with it you can play plus 15 keys you can play plus 20 keys for sure but as high as it goes as as more you have to do with playing monk uh, uh, tank and it makes just no sense if you want to climb the ladder as high as possible we come to the next one is already eight tier. is uh, our paladin tank it's good. It's especially good, in my opinion, in lower keys, uh, because you bring a lot of utility with you. As high as it goes, as less utility you need for the group, because the group usually know what to do. And it brings decent damage, decent, decent tankiness. So, a, a very good tank. Like I said, all the others are S and A tier. So, no worries, if you like to play Paladin tank, you can go as high as you want, usually. But maybe not, you know, at the plus 25 or whatever then it gets you can can you get struggling damage is not that much tanginess is a little bit less than the other ones so that's it we come to the next one and the next one i think is bloody k bloody k can be very very strong as high the keys are going and as more tanginess is necessary so don't get me wrong if maybe maybe you will see one of the highest keys with bloody k depending on how much tanginess it necess it's, it's necessary at the end of the day but apart from this it brings definitely the least damage from these tanks with you so as high it goes maybe as better as bloody k tanginess wise but damage wise is definitely here drop off and then we will see what will be the most needed thing at the end of the day next one is druid i think druid is the most well-rounded tank at the moment what does it mean it means is it's good on everything is it's on everything second or third place so it's not like here very good here very bad maybe the only one that it, the only thing that is not so good for, for uh, feral tanks or for druid tanks is when there's a consistent high magic damage coming through towards him besides that well rounded it's just good it's not s tier but it's at the moment i would say the best of the a tier we come to the next one the, our vengeance demon hunter um there will be two first places vengeance demon hunter and i mean we already know it in that case when we talk about it, it it's it's warrior warrior seems a little bit stronger at the moment um so I want to rank him the first one. The second one, like I said, is then Demon Hunter. I mean, Demon Hunter has no real weakness, to be honest. Uh, if you want to, so, you know, utility with the sigils, a lot of AOE damage, nice tankiness, nice survivability, good mobility. So there is like really nothing to complain about it. And it's just that 
Warrior seems making even a little bit more damage at the moment, it seems like. So, and that's why it makes so strong. Both of these are awesome specs at the moment to play M+. Uh, I think they will define the meta at the moment. Like I said, there is a little chance for Bloody K if Tanginess is the top priority over everything. Then maybe uh, Bloody K will rise, but apart from this, definitely Protection Warrior and Vengeance Demon Hunter are S tier specs. Let us come to the healer. Uh, let us come to the healer. Healer is a little bit... Uh, it's the same. We only need S, A and B tier. That case is a little bit up, but I think that's pretty normal. We have like two or three specs that are very, very nice. You will see them a lot in M+. And we have the other specs that are usually just the specs to fill the vault and then yeah, see later on what's what, what, what's going on with them, but we will not see them and the highest and fastest key that needs to get done. We start with Restoration Shaman. It's a decent spec. We have everything what it needs to play plus 15 keys, even plus 20 keys, but nothing higher will be very possible here, in my opinion. It can get very tough then as hard as it goes for the Restoration Shaman. Next one. This Priest, I'm a little bit surprised, um, and I think there will be maybe a possibility later on that this Priest is rising, because usually you know the damage that he can do is usually pretty good, but at the moment it seems like it's not that much, um, and that's why it's just in the B tier. Nothing special about this Priest at the moment. Decent spec, again, plus 15, plus 20, alright, go for it, but as high as it goes, as hard it will be. Next one is already the next Priest spec. Holy. Again, here you are just a holy priest. You heal what is there. Your damage thing is not that good damage output, but is it necessary for playing plus 15s or maybe even some plus 20? Definitely not. But besides of that, there are other specs that are doing a lot of better. Sadly, we play monk, we place monk here, and I think that makes monk one of the classes that will be not very strong at the early days of Dragonflight. I'm not sure about raiding, I've, I have to give a look on it at uh, 2, but um, at the moment Mythic Plus and also the, uh, the PvP section looks not that good for monks, so we will see what will happen uh, with, those, with, with the class. Again, plus 15, plus 20, easy PC, besides for that, art. Next one, Paladin. Paladin, already I say, if you are a Paladin main, if you have a good crew, you can play around the highest keys that are possible. It's a very good class, well-rounded, makes a lot of fun if you are a, if you are a Paladin, if you are a Paladin main. So, just go for it. There's no, there's zero need, there's zero need to play something different if you are a Paladin main. Then we come to the two STS specs. And this is quite interesting in my opinion. We have here Restoration Druid and we have the new Evoker spec. Um, they are just both so, look so strong at the moment. Um, so these two specs will also here define the meta. So we have two healers and two tank specs that will define the meta in my opinion. Um, tanks are a little bit more well-rounded because you see we have two eight. AT specs, two ST specs. We have only, we have as well two ST specs in heal and only one ST spec in in paladin. So these three classes, evoker, druid, paladin, will be the healers that you will see the most. Apart from that, it will get definitely hard if we talk about as higher that the keys are going. Again, plus 15 with all these specs, all these classes possible, but we all know as high as it goes, it harder it will be, and we also know how the the, the, pack, the packing is, is, is working especially when the meta is defined and you know how hard it is to, 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 to get with an off meta class in a key it's it will be always hard there are some things like for example bloodlust you as you can see uh, the evoker has bloodlust that's that's a very nice thing for him that puts him even higher there i would say um yeah so that's it for today guys m plus tank and heal tier list it is well-rounded, a little bit more well-rounded for tanks, uh, not for the heals, but also the heals have three good specs and four specs that, like I said, are definitely possible for everything that normal people are doing in, in World of Warcraft. Have fun with it, guys.
see you. Good luck with leveling, raiding, and whatever you do. Bye-bye.